Hey guys, Andrew McComb here, the founder and CEO of Golf University. In this Golf University tip from the pro, I'm with One Asia Order of Merit winner, Andre Stoltz, at Coinda Waters Golf Resort on the central coast of Australia, where he's gonna teach us three different chipping ball flights so that we can master our distance control in game-related situations. If you haven't watched video one, and one or two in the Chipping Mastery series, you can watch them here and here. And before we start this video, and if you haven't done so already, I encourage you to subscribe and hit the bell icon below so that I can notify you every time a new episode is released. And if you stick around until the end of this episode, I'm gonna give you access to our famous Golf University skill assessment, which has helped thousands of our members, just like you, find and fix the one thing that's killing your golf scores, your handicap, and your game. Plus, we'll give you free access to the specific video coaching program from one of our world-class golf instructors so that you can feel more confident, consistent, and in control of this area of your game. But before I help you find and fix this area of your game, let's find out the best ball flights to use with our chipping in different situations. This tip from the pro brought to you by Golf University, the world's premier golf improvement program. Andre, how can we make the basic chipping technique more game relevant? Andrew, I've got a great drill. It's called the three ball flight drill. I've got my 56 degree sand on, three balls. I've got a great spot just over here, about 40 yards away. I can show you how to do it. Come on, let's go. Let's go. So Stolte, tell me about these three different ball flights. All right, mate. Well, I guess one of the, the key things we want to think about here is we've done some work in the other videos with the basic chipping technique. So for this exercise, we'll call that like the medium ball flight. So today I'm gonna to show you a couple of different variations of that, uh, moving the ball back and hitting a low one, moving it high and show you what to do. So in the end, what we're gonna try and do, a normal chip shot, we've basically got that narrow stance, weight forward with the club face about there. So now when I wanna hit a low one, I'm gonna just move slightly that way, bit forward and then hood the face and finish it a little bit lower. What's hood the face? Well, I'm gonna close the face over. So effectively, we're taking a little bit of loft off the club. So I'll show you that one in a bit more detail in a second, hitting that one low. And then the other one, I'm gonna move the ball forward and open the face, which is adding more loft. It's gonna send the ball a bit higher. So let me show you how. I'll show you the uh, low one first. So we're playing it off the back foot, hooding the face. Gonna try and finish with a little bit lower and more rounded follow through. Definitely lower. Yeah, so that was, that's the low one. So then we'll just show the, the standard shot as well. So basically getting back to the neutral position. Standard chip shot here. Nice shot. In the hole. Almost close. All right, so now the high one. And occasionally you might need this because, you know, there might be a ridge there on the green that you don't like the look of or, or something that you want to fly it all the way there. So again, it's, it's not too different to the normal shot. We're just moving the ball further forward. Open the face and cutting that one up a little bit like that. So in the end, practicing these three different types of shots with the same club, pretty similar positions, it's just gonna give you a better feel on the golf course for exactly what type of shot you need to play, and it'll be a lot more automatic on the course. You won't have to think as much. Well, there it is. I hope you've enjoyed this Golf University tip from the pro. Put a yes in the comments below if you found it useful, or ask a question in the comments if you need even more help. And as promised earlier, we want to help you find and fix the one thing that's killing your golf scores, your handicap, and your game. So to access the Golf University skill assessment and free video coaching program, go to golfuniversity.tv forward slash golf skill assessment, or click the link in the description below. And to help you feel even more confident, consistent, and in control of your golf game, I also want to personally invite you to join our 19th hole clubhouse and golf channel. This is where our passionate and inspiring members belong to watch, learn, grow, meet, and share inspiration as golfers. You can join the 19th hole for free at the 19thhole.club or click the link in the description below. As a member, you'll have access to hundreds of golf lessons, travel episodes, and documentaries. Plus, you'll get member-only discounts on our golf schools, tournaments, travel, tours, and signature programs. And if you're a golf addict like myself, you can also join our members only Facebook group by clicking the link in the description below. And remember, if you've enjoyed this lesson, 
or you'd like to ask some questions, or maybe you've even got a suggestion for another episode, then leave a like and a comment below, and my coaches and I will do our best to answer them for you. And if you've got any golfing friends who'd benefit from this lesson, hit the share buttons below. And remember to hit the subscribe and the bell icon below too, so that I can notify you every time a new episode is released. Thanks for watching, sharing, and commenting, guys. I'll see you in the 19th hole.